Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and here we have yet yeah, another liberal freak-out thing. It's called the Pretty Pussy Hat Project. These women wear these stupid pink hats with uh, cat ears on them. This is in conjunction with the so-called Women's March in Washington, D.C., which is the day after the inauguration. Uh, I've heard that it's falling apart. So, that may not even happen. They're uh, encouraging women to knit, crochet, and sew 117 million pink pussy hats. You're not going to need that many. Please check out the PDF to get the whole picture of what we're about. We're updating the website. More content soon. So, here's the PDF. Pussy Hat Project aims to provide people with Women's March on Washington, D.C. means to make a unique collective visual statement that will help activists but be better heard. So they wear these stupid hats, and they think they're going to make them uh, better heard. Currently on Facebook, there are 110,000 plus people pledged to go to the march. The site of the march, the iconic National Mall, fits over 1.17 million people. If everyone at the march wears a pink hat, the crowd will be a sea of pink, showing that we stand together united. By knitting a hat for a marcher, you are part of a powerful visual statement uh, for crying out loud. Well, this is what these people care about. They don't care about facts. They care about uh, the way things look. Pink is considered a very female color representing caring, compassion, and love. All qualities have been strongly derided as weak but are actually strong. It's you people on the left that are uh, deriding women for what they used to be. Wearing pink together is a powerful statement that we are unapologetically feminine and we unapologetically stand for women's rights. No, you stand for power. That is a lie. You stand for power of a few elitists. Communist elitists. And it talks about, you know, it's easy to uh, create. Knitting and crochet are traditionally women's crafts, and we want to celebrate these arts. Yeah, they are, because men don't have patience for it, first of all, and uh, women have smaller fingers, it makes it a little easier. We love... Clever wordplay, pussy hat and pussy cat, but yes, pussy is also a derogatory term for female genitalia. We chose this loaded word for our project because we want to reclaim the term as means of empowerment. Oh, for crying out loud, in this day and age, if we have pussies, we are assigned the gender of woman. Woman, well, the transgender is cisgender, whatever the hell they're talking about, are mistreated in this society. In order to get fair treatment, the answer is not to take away our pussies. The answer is not to deny our femaleness and femininity. The answer is to demand fair treatment. Woman's body is her own. We are honoring this truth and standing up for our rights. Well, this is another leftist group, is what this amounts to. Doing things in a slightly different way. At least they'll be peaceful. So, it's just nutcaseism, uh, basically. They're nutcases, left wing nut jobs. The problem is that people keep listening to these communists in our society, and this is what you get. Left-wing nut jobs who believe what they're told. 
<sighs> Unbelievable. Anyway, I think they look fairly harmless, so I might get a, get a good laugh out of it when they actually have their uh, little parade. I heard it's uh, breaking up, by the way, because of uh, there's charges of racism going around, things, I don't know. I don't know if it's true that they're breaking up, but... Another march by more kooks. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.